welcome back to my channel it's me Des and I'm back with a Timu haul okay so this one's big she's already got a bit of a slit in her though um which I'm not feeling very confident about <laughs> so let's just hope that everything I ordered is actually going to be in here this must weigh like the weight of a child is she heavy Anyway, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your stay. A like and a subscribe goes an awful long way. And if you are one of my regulars, much love to y'all because you're going to need it with me. Okay, so I'm not going to faff about. I'm just going to get into it because I have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a longish one. So let's get in. Armed. <laughs> I feel so weird doing that, you know, like just holding up this when you've got people that are probably and doing these bag with proper fancy scissors. That's what I need in my life. Some fancy scissors. I, I think this is just real common and it just doesn't cut it, does it? <laughs> right. Anyways, let's get into it. Should I just go where the slit is or not? No. Do you know what? I'm not having them make it easy for me gonna make it hard for myself i want to do it so you guys can see i could turn it around but that's where my name and address is i mean we can't have this please don't cut anything okay oh okay so here we are again timu first thing i have i think i know what this is let me just make some room here on the safe for this bag so it's just easier for me to no I don't think so I've got like my other phone here because like just in case anything's missing I want to check you know I've got an itchy nose today you know okay. let's put her here all right y'all stay there so, first thing I have, I think this is, it's not a bedding set. I think it's just a sheet. Graded my bed to a king size last year. And I think I have like two to my name at the minute. So I'm constantly like washing it and changing it and washing it, and, you know. But I wanted something a bit different. Oh, actually, she pretty. I really hope this fits. Oh, that's really, really cute. I like, I don't have pattern sheets. I have like, this one's a fitted one. So obviously it's got like the elastic here. Oh, I really hope it fits. I'm praying this one fit. I think I got the right size. I mean, it looks humongous. So, and it feels like real stretchy, but it's got like hearts there. And it's got like hearts that look like lacy hearts love that and um little snowflakes red snowflakes this is like a goth haven oh love this and it's really quite soft actually um it's not like super soft like a blanky kind of soft but it's actually quite soft for a sheet so i'm gonna give this a wash probably after i finish the video and get it dried so i can change my sheets tomorrow i think i'll do it tomorrow it's a tomorrow job it's not a tonight job okay <laughs> that's that let's get the next thing out what do i have i was just looking to see if maybe i needed something to put it open with but i don't oh, we have a rug so down my hallway a little while ago i purchased a rug it, it was before i started the channel um and this is exactly the same but smaller i needed like a little bit extra so i have one near the front door uh the other one's like running down like the longer part of my hallway so yeah this should fit perfectly but i just love how beautiful it is it's really really pretty and it sort of ties in with my hallway and my toilet and my bathroom because in my toilet it's gold and black mostly with like bits of white and in the bathroom it's blue black gold and that kind of thing and it's got like little hints of white too so it really sort of stands out 
Yeah, I really love that. And the quality is really good. Like on the back here, it's like, um, I, it sort of stays in place, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like non-slip. I'm not sure about how it would fare on tiled floors, but on carpet, like, because I have the carpet tiles down my hallway, this doesn't budge. So, or the other one doesn't budge, I should say. <laughs> but it's exactly the same as that. So hopefully this is going to be just as nice. I can't wait to lay it down, actually. I'll be doing that after I finish the video. Uh, oh, the next thing I have, don't fall. Please don't fall. The next thing I have is something a bit Christmassy. So I thought that I would get some of this. So basically, it's got lights in there. Um, I'll probably, hang on bear with because I can just turn my roses off real quick and switch the batteries out to show you what it looks like lit up that's what I love about having batteries so close to my bed <laughs> I can just take them out light this up and show you how it looks so let me just switch them out do you know what it's really cold here in the UK today like honestly it is chilly. Y'all know winter's here. <laughs> it's like the kind of time of year where you just want to wrap up and have the heating on constantly. But you know you can't do that. You can't have the heating on constantly because it costs an absolute fortune. So. Oh, she works. But it's hard to see. Um, It's probably because my batteries are <laughs> probably towards life support. Um, hang on. Let me switch this off real quick. Oh. Yeah, I need new batteries desperately. They're losing the will to live right now. But I'm not mad. At least I know it works. Once it's got really good batteries in, it will be fine. <laughs> How do I switch it on again? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was scary for a second there. Probably looks better with the light off though. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. You know, when I rip into myself, it's not because I'm insecure in the slightest. I just find it really funny. Because I sort of think of the trolls and I think, yo, I would troll myself too. <laughs> and I do troll myself really hard. I just find it funny. If you can't laugh about yourself, oh my goodness. But yeah, that is those. I can't wait to put actually good batteries in though because um, that was a bit of a um, bogus <laughs> light reveal there. That wouldn't have gone down well in Queensgate, would it? <laughs> oh, wells. There we go. So, that wouldn't have been very good for the Christmas lights this year, would it, in the shopping centre? Oh well, <laughs> we're not in the shopping centre, we're at desks. Anyways, the next thing I have is a um, another sign. This isn't going on my wall though, this is actually a present for someone um, for Christmas. I really like it, it's not bent, they've actually managed to get something to me that isn't bent this time. I think it's actually really good. Um, that they do things like this because you can really just have a plain wall and then have a couple of these stuck on there and it just gives it something extra along with all the posters and stuff that they do um but yeah this person that's getting this loves wrestling um i used to love wrestling i was massive on jeff hardy jeff hardy stone cold sean michaels i did really like bret hart at one point too um but yeah, Jeff Hardy's always been my first love. <laughs> Loved him so much. <laughs> I still have a lot of respect for Jeff. Um, but yeah, he needs to get his act together now. Come on, Jeff. <laughs> All right, next thing I have is another wrestling item. This is so cool. <laughs> Degeneration X. Yeah. So... <laughs> This is also a gift for someone because it definitely won't fit me. So it's just like a, 
a men's hoodie. Um, I think it's size medium, if I remember rightly. Yeah, it's a medium. Um, I just, I thought it was brilliant, to be quite honest, because you pay an absolute fortune for things like this on the WWE merch store and stuff like that. And I'm just like, look, if I can get the same thing cheaper somewhere else, maybe slightly different, then I'm going to do it. I mean, everything I believe is spelt right. Let me just check. G yeah, D Generation X. I nearly said G. Suck it. <laughs> I just, I love them. I loved it when China, oh my God. Y'all know China, right? She was like hench. She was brilliant. She was my favorite female wrestler for the pure fact of she just did not care. She was like, nah. I'm in. Tag me in with the guys. <laughs> okay. Next thing I have, again, is wrestling related, but it is like a diamond art. Uh, you get all your little um, gems here, and you get the little white thingy majiggy and the pen. Um, but this is, I think it's on acrylic. I think that's what it is, acrylic. But yeah, how cool is that? I believe that's like the belt that was the rocks or something. I'm not 100% though. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've watched wrestling. It got so lame after Attitude Era. But that's just my opinion. I'm not being controversial. <laughs> Back when I was a kid. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I have another one. Also, it's pretty much the same as the one that I just showed you with all the diamonds in the back. They're different diamonds. They're like the real shiny ones. So it's not like um, you see my Last of Us uh, diamond art and stuff like that. It's not like that. Why is that side straight and that side's like super curly? Like this is naturally how my hair is. But this side's just given up. It's like, no, nah, not today, Dust. <laughs> So yeah, this um, this is the United States Championship. That's actually really cool. And I, th I love the fact that it's uh, not on like a canvas print. It's on like, I think it's acrylic. I'm not 100%, but it's sturdy. At first, I kind of thought when I pulled this one out, it might be cardboard. And then I was like, nah, that can't be cardboard. But yeah, they're actually really cool. I see you could really decorate a room have this up there and then have hang on excuse the chins a second you could have that there that there you know or you could have one above it one below it that'd be so cool if you didn't have a lot of money and you really wanted to do something for your kiddos and you know you were struggling and you didn't know what to do from get them involved get them doing some arts and crafts and have their art on the wall that is so cool like being able to like have their friends over and them go, oh, I did that, you know, like that's, I love that, you know. Uh, <laughs> pulled two things out there. So the next thing I have, because I haven't had my nails done in such a long time and I haven't had nails on in such a long time, gave my nails like the biggest break. Um, but I just felt like I really wanted some again. So I got these. I thought they were really nice. They're not super long, which is an absolute bonus because we don't want them super long. Who wants like super long nails when you've not worn them for a while? I can't always function with super long nails. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I really do struggle sometimes. So these are definitely a good, a good start off pack. Or maybe these. I'm getting back into my leopard print and it's all your fault. <laughs> I came clean. I'm joking. I came clean about the fact that I had like this unhealthy obsession with leopard print. Um, and now look, look what's happened. <laughs> but I thought they would be ideal to start off with. I'll probably put on a pair tomorrow, maybe. Maybe. Oh, I got the coolest card. So I'll read it to you. Being a teenager, checklist. Roll eyes all the time. Say that's not fair a lot. 
cringe at everything your parents do or say. Um, I think that says do or say. Let me get it out because I can't read it over the sticker that they've strategically placed there. Look. Um, let's get it out and have a little look. I do apologise if I seem like super high energy just recently. I'm just, I, I love doing these hauls. I get excited over shopping. Uh, it's just a, it's a me thing. Um, everything your parents do. Sorry, correcting myself. And then the last one is, do not smile under any circumstances, especially at this card. I've got a good good mind to tick all of those boxes for my oldest just recently. He's so moody. Like, all of those teenage hormones. Like, it doesn't matter what you say. He reminds me of Kev out of Kevin and Perry right now. He's, like, super, super moody. Like, the moodiest of moody. And I'm just like, dude. Uh. Right, next thing we have... Oh, I think this is, um, if I remember rightly, I think this is Lego, but I'm not 100%. It's, it sounds like it's all loose as well. I'm a bit worried. Oh, no, it's not loose. It's in the little bags. It's the tiny Lego, though. Um, let me just, I think it's dinosaur, I think. Oh, it is! It's this one! How cool! I can't wait for that to be done. So I started on my Lego. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I hauled one. It was a... Like a little house with um, a boat and a little pond thing underneath. Honestly, it's the bane of my life. It's gorgeous, but I just don't think I've got the intelligence for it, if I'm honest. <laughs> diamond art, I will do all day long. Yeah, I'll give me the diamond art and I'm down with that. But Lego takes an extra, an extra brain cell that I just don't always have. So I might have to get my elders to help me with it. <laughs> I've put it away for a couple of months because I'm just like, I'm going to get angry in a minute and throw you across the room. So I don't want to rage at the Lego. Uh, the next thing I have is a t-shirt. I think I went really mad on this whole wrestling stuff. Just brings back so many memories and nostalgia. Oh, check it out. An NWO New World Order shirt. Check it. I think that's awesome, to be fair. I was never a fan of them. Never. But. But. <laughs> I know somebody that was. <laughs> and is. Like, this person has been watching. And I'm not saying their name, just in case they stumble across my video. So it could be for anyone within family and friends. <laughs> But yeah, they, they've been watching all like the old school wrestling stuff that I used to watch. And um, yeah, they've seen all that with New World Order and D-Generation X and stuff. Um, personally, my favourite um, my favorite sort of scenes in the WWE was like between Stone Cold and Vince McMahon because they were just epic. <laughs> They just, it was like Stone Cold just did not care. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so we have another shirt here. It's one of those smart ones that we like. Oh, that's soft. That's really nice. Kind of reminds me a bit of Jackass, you know, like the skull. Every time I see a skull, I think of Jackass straight away. I don't know what it is. I've been watching the, um, oh, what's it called? The, the movies and last night I watched Bad Grandpa for the first time I kid you not if you haven't seen it with Johnny Knoxville in it's hilarious absolutely hilarious he's so funny honestly I give him 10 out of 10 
because he just, <laughs> how he did those scenes so seriously, because some of those scenes were actually shot like, um, like they used to do with Jackass. They Sometimes they had to shoot them if they were using members of the public. Sometimes they had to shoot them where nobody could see cameras and stuff. So, yeah, that was just absolutely epic. I loved that so much. So funny. Highly recommend that movie if you're in for a laugh. Um, I might even include a little, if I can find a GIF or a GIF, whatever it's called. I always call them GIFs. If I can find one, I might insert one, like, when I'm talking about it, like I do sometimes. Um, oh, my goodness. The next thing I have looks like another item of clothing. I'm so sorry to you that, like, to see me try clothes on, but none of these are for me today. <laughs> I think everybody had a bit of a shock when I started trying things on, like, oh, put those bat wings away <laughs> um what is this one <gasps> who was i just talking about oh i wish i'd got it in my size now it's a medium there's no way there's no way wait is there a way <laughs> i'm joking but yeah 316 baby <laughs> let's go love that um, not overly keen on the material. It's like that shiny kind of material, but not too shiny. Um, I kind of prefer the jackass kind of feel to this kind of feel. But the person that's getting it really doesn't care because all that person's caring about is the logo on it. So I'm not mad at all. Not mad in the slightest. So the next thing I have is <laughs> vacuum pack. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to be careful because I know what this is. I can tell straight. Oh, releasing that air. I thought it was going to make like a massive fart noise and you'd all be like, ah, desk farted. <laughs> I was anticipating that a second Okay, don't like the smell. It's very chemically smelling. Or chemical, chemically. All right, Dest. It's very chemical smelling. However, ugh, I don't know if it's upside down or if you can see it, but can you see? Is it upside down? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Right, let's turn it the right way, Dest. Come on. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that. Wait, where's the Mosasaurus? That's right, I know my dinosaurs. <laughs> Look at it. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. That is the Mosasaurus. Is there a Mosasaurus on here or not? I can't tell now. I thought there was. But I don't think there is. <laughs> Where are you, darling? No. No, there's not. I don't think there is. <gasps> I'm disappointed now. I thought there was for a second there. Oh, it's probably because I saw that bit. And I thought, oh, I know what that is. No. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, that is going to somebody that likes dinosaurs. <laughs> Not mentioning any names at all. Okay, so I can already see. I ordered for my kitchen <laughs> some of these rugs. <gasps> They're so cool. I love them. That's to go where my... Um, tumble dryer and washer is just to sit there I just I got it really for the bats <laughs> more than anything the bats just stood out to me everything else I wasn't bothered about but the bats had to have it had to that's actually really big and very soft like that's extremely soft Oosh. 
I reckon you could have this anywhere, though. It doesn't need to just be for your kitchen. Like, most people will probably have it, like, near their front door or something or near their back door or, you know, if you're goth in your bedroom <laughs> or if you're decorating for Halloween, who says you need to be goth to have it? You don't. Um, I've got another two. These two are the same size, so I'll just show you one of them because uh, I thought maybe I'd need one more or two more. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to put the dog food and the water on here for her um but yeah i like that i like that and then i'm gonna have one in front of my cooker just because i think i need it being greedy with the mats okay but yeah this one's exactly the same size same material same everything it's absolutely wonderful so the next thing i have Y'all know in the previous video, I was telling you about nostalgia and the earrings that we used to wear. Well, look at these bad boys. Oh, they huge. All right. I didn't have a pair this big. They were probably like half the size of these. But these are the literal earrings I used to wear all of the time these bad boys how amazing are they like come on they're they're not like they're not heavyweight either they're actually quite lightweight i'm shocked i see you team moo wow i'm gonna be wearing these tomorrow i'm gonna be rocking my hoops i am gonna be rocking these hoops I love them. I really, I always liked those earrings in general, um, but I only ever had a smaller pair. So yeah, I also have. <laughs> so I couldn't go through Christmas and not get a Christmas pair of earrings. Like I couldn't. I had to have a novelty pair. I, like I've got two pairs of Christmas earrings, but I had to have a novelty pair. Who goes through Christmas and doesn't have a novelty pair of earrings? That was me last year because I was still a bit bar humbug. But this year is different. <laughs> so I got myself. <laughs> these earrings. How funny are these? Honestly, like these are hilarious. I love them so much. They are fantastic. I might even wear these like the first week of December. Just get them out there. <laughs> I just love them. Uh, the next thing I have. Oh, wait, let me, because I know who this is. Let me find the other one real quick. I know I got. Is that it? In that bag? Is that it? Okay, that's it. So I'm just going to get them all out ready. So I'll do this one first. So going back to nostalgia right now, because we're in the nostalgia era. It, well, <laughs> on the haul. We're in the nostalgia era on the haul. So back when I was a kid, there was this one program that I used to watch. Like, obviously, you got Goosebumps. You got... Um, Power Rangers and all that type of thing. But my favourite, apart from Saved by the Bell, my favourite was this. Are you afraid of the dark? And I actually managed to find a few episodes for my kids to watch. And they were like, Mum, this is so bad. And I'm like, shush, in my day, <laughs> it wasn't bad, okay? It was blimmin' good. <laughs> Um, but they didn't turn their nose up, however, at, wait, I've got to get them both out together because otherwise it just, it loses the, the fun. Hang on. <laughs> I was so, so excited to get these as well. How frigging childish am I? <laughs> Let me take that off real quick. So, I don't know if anybody remembers these guys. <laughs> Cute. 
cow and chicken. I absolutely loved watching these two as a kiddo. Like cow and chicken, I used to love so much. The funny thing about cow and chicken is you never used to see the mom's face. And I don't think you saw the dad's face either. It was just the feet that they sort of had there. And I was like, why do you never get to see the mom and the dad? Unless like I've missed an episode or something. But I just, I love these so much. So they are going to go. I've got a bag coming from Shein to put all my pins on. Because I wanted to take some of them off of my jacket and just wear certain ones on there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm going to put a load of pins on my bag that's coming. Well, if it ever arrives. I don't know what's going on at the minute with the postie. Postman Pat better get his butt in gear. All right. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be at fisticuffs now, Jacob. My postman's all right. My postman's fine. I think it's um, Sheen's been a bit late delivering things and sending things out uh, due to high demand because it's like the whole Black Friday sale. And then I'm stupid enough to put in my order over the Black Friday period. Yeah, I get like the prices drop dramatically, but then you're waiting forever for your parcels. So the last items I have, were my absolute favourites. And I have watched some of the episodes just recently. Like, you can find, like, clips on YouTube. And I'm just like, how did this pass? How did kids get to watch this? There's one particular scene with a saw. And I'm not kidding you. I was like, what the actual hell is going on? So... Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> they were actually my favourites, like, out of everything. I loved Ren and Stimpy so much. But, yes, looking back, though, I'm like, how did this pass for kids? How did this actually go through people and then think, yeah, this is great for kids. This is good for kids to watch. No, it's not. <laughs> It is, it, there's so many innuendos in, in kids shows and I'm just like, how does this pass any kind of, like, do people watch this and think, yeah, it could be fun with that, you know, like, nothing like drumming things into children, like, subliminally. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right terminology, but we're using it, okay? We are using it, but I just thought that they would, like, for me, it's nostalgia, it's going on my bag and I'm just <laughs> I'm waiting for the day that another kid that was born around the same time of me or a time as me or another inner child should I say comes up to me and is like oh my god that's cow and chicken because I would be like that that would be me I would be like I, I like I love your bag you have cow and chicken you have Ren and Stimpy you have are you afraid of the dark like <laughs> the inner child in me would be like oh my god so yeah I can I can just I'm praying somebody else does honestly anyway from a hyper desk to maybe a mellow use I hope you have a fantastic evening wherever you are uh much love to you all and I'll see you in the next one bye